Welcome back to the show, friends. Um, my next guest, Barbara, raises her 16-year-old niece, Ayana, and is terrified for Ayana's future. Barbara says that her niece hangs out with older men. She disappears for weeks at a time. She says she admits to smoking, marijuana, drinking, and even getting into fistfights. And she's recently been kicked out of school. And now, Ayana is pregnant. Um, Barbara called me for my help. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So, Barbara, I can only imagine what you're going through because I know you're stepping in to support your niece, and Ayana sounds like she's having a difficult time right now. So, tell me what's going on. Well, for starters, um, I did get her at a young age with her mom because her mom actually got caught up in a little mischief, and then now she's wrongfully in prison, mm. you know, fighting, trying to get out. And with that being said, Ayana just basically just wants her mom. I mean, I got a, not just Ayana, she has a younger sister as well. And she, um, with that being said, it's like, no matter what I do, the school, CMO, mobile response, or whoever that's involved with Ayana. Wow, so Ayana, this is Ayana's mom who got 20 years in prison? That's her, absolutely. Wow. And so she went in when, how old was Ayana when her mother went to prison? Eight. Eight years old, okay. So her and her sibling have been missing out on their mother for a long time. Yes. Yeah, okay. And so how does Ayana lash out at you? She calls me all kinds of foul names, like, uh, you, bitch. I don't have to listen to you. And, you know, she's just very aggressive and angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what, what are your type of dis disciplinary actions? Oh, I, well, me, at that age, I take everything from her that she likes. Do you have contact with Ayana's mother? Every day. You do? Do you tell her what's going on with her? At, every day. And what does her mom say? She tries to calm her down, too, and allow her to know that she knows she'll be home soon. So how often does Ayana leave the house and not tell you? Every day. Every day. She will say, I'll be back. And... I wouldn't know when she come back or where she is. Because I would have to put her into the system as a missing person. So, you know, I think I had probably like eight or nine write-ups missing person because I can't allow her to be gone for so many hours and not report that she's actually gone. Of course, because you never know if something could actually Ac be wrong. Absolutely. So how long would she be gone for? What was the longest amount of time? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So why won't they take her back at school? Because I know she's out of school as well. Oh, because she actually um, brought, like, marijuana to school. And the school has a policy to where, you know, as far as drug and alcohol, if you're tested positive, then suspension is in order, other than, you know, the regular protocol where, you know, you go into a drug and alcohol program. Yeah. And I have done that with Ayana, like, four times, but she wouldn't go to the treatment. So with that, the supervisor was like, she can't come back, that she need in, uh, patient care. Mm. If a child is doing things like this, it's because they're screaming out. They're screaming out that I need help. I don't think any child is inherently bad. And I think that sometimes we forget that because we get so frustrated as adults. And so it breaks my heart that, like, this young woman who's screaming out has now got kicked out of school. You know what I mean? And, of course, once you get kicked out of school, I can understand why she probably doesn't want to go to these other programs with you. Like, why she doesn't make that next step. You know, she's, she's probably experiencing some sort of rejection and all these other stuff. Do you have your own kids? I do. You do? How old are they? My oldest just turned 36 oh, wow. on the 4th. Got it. Okay. Come on, good And skill. my youngest is 33. Okay, yeah. So you already raised your children, per Absolutely. se. I mean, this is still your, your child. You look at it as your child. But, mm -hmm. yeah, so this is... So you're dealing with new issues with these kids. Right. It was, you know, me dealing with it okay. But as they got older, I, too, got older. Yeah. So now I address things differently. And I don't argue you don't with her. You not personal anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, if anything, she already knows that... I'm more or less set to, like, just call the police. I wish that we only didn't have 911. I wish we also had a resource number that we could just call a social worker out because it'd be a lot easier in these situations <laughs> instead of a police officer coming that a social worker could come and say, hey, let me help you. Someone maybe with some psychotherapy background. But these are my dreams for America. Well, you know. Um, what do you like to do that brings you joy? I'm going to see at this fishing, if we want to call anything fishing. Fishing? You like to fish? Yeah. OK. Okay, I like That's that. That's the family hobby. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, good to know. Ayana is feeling a little uncomfortable. She's 16, so we're gonna try to make sure she's all right. Hi, love. You okay? This is who I talk to. You nervous? Can I say hello? 
Say hi. Like, you nervous? Yeah. Like, I know. Good. Here, will you shake my hand? Nice to meet you, Karamo. Nice you you want to come on out? Yeah, it's going to be a good conversation. Okay. Come on out. All right. There All right. Go. There you go. There you go. Woman up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. This is going to be good out here. Right. Everyone right. say hello. Everyone give it up for Ayana. Let them take a seat. Well, can I have a proper hug now that you came out? Nice to meet you. Um, all right, so we heard a lot about what's going on. I want to go back a little bit. Why did you feel like you needed to act out? Um, I don't know. I am mostly acted out because when I lost my mom, I felt like I didn't have nobody, so. Yeah. I was just hanging out with the wrong crowds, and I thought drugs was a solution. So you, you say you don't feel like you have anybody because you lost your mom. Do you feel alone right now? No, I have my aunt, like, because our relationship got better. But, like, in the beginning, when I was younger, I felt like I didn't have no type of support and stuff. Yeah. Do you still talk to your mom when things happen and how you, when you're feeling a sort of way? Well, sometimes. Not all the time, because I don't really want to stress my mom out because I'm a predicament she is. But I talk to her about most of my problems. Do you feel like that you have the comfort um, from family and friends to support you? I don't necessarily fool with my family. I, I don't know. I, feel, I was talking to my aunt about certain stuff, but as far as like my family, like close family, I don't really. Why don't you want to talk to your family? They're not supportive of anything at all. Got it. Does your mom know that you're pregnant? Yeah, she knows. She's happy. She's happy? Yeah. OK. Are you happy about being pregnant? I mean. It's... So you, why would you run away? Because I heard you would run away for two weeks at a time. Chasing boys. Chasing boys? Chasing boys. Yeah. Yeah. Why chasing boys? I guess I was looking for love. I guess you can see that, basically, but. So I want to go back now to school. What did you do in order to not be able to go back to school? I brought drugs to school the first time. I got kicked out, I brought drugs to school. And then I went to the program. And like I said, I only went to the program one time, and I never went back. Why did you want to go back? I don't feel as though, I don't, I don't know, honestly. I was being hard-headed. I, I could have went to the program. It was not that hard to really yeah. do. But me, just me and me, I didn't want to waste. I felt like it was a waste of my time. Yeah. So I didn't want to. Were you scared to go there? No. OK. It's... And why did you think it was a waste of your time? Because it's like, how y'all going to tell me I'm addicted to something when I know I can stop? Mm-hmm. And it's like. Do you think you can stop smoking weed? Yeah, I can stop smoking weed. It's not hard. Yeah. Have you done it? What? Stop smoking weed? Yeah. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, at this point in time, yeah. Because yeah, you're pregnant. Because I'm pregnant. I want to know for you, do you want to be better? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah, I do. And I when you say do. you want to be better, what does that mean? Like career-wise and financially and everything. And why is it? Is it only because of the fact that you're pregnant, or is it because you just want to be better for yourself? Because I got a little sister, and okay. I gotta still do what I gotta do for her, whether I got a child or not. You're you're pregnant now. Do you know who the father of the child is? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? I'm not going to tell you that. OK. <laughs> OK. Has your aunt met him? She don't. Know. She doesn't want to meet him? She, I know. I don't want her to meet him. Why? Because he's older. Got it. I, I could assume that from the fact that your aunt told me you hang out with older people. Does he know that you're 16? He does now. Yeah, I don't know. He's been new. I don't lie about my age or nobody. If you want to mess with me, then you can. Got it. OK, then. Got it. Um, is he in your life now? I don't know. No, kind of off and on. Kind of off and on. How does he feel about becoming a father to your child? Does he want to support? <sighs> I don't know. He's like. So he, he does know that he you're knows, but he gives me mixed emotions. But I don't really care. He's saying because at the end of the day, it's my decision. It's not your decision. And if you knew you didn't want that, then you should have never. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has anyone ever talked to you about like? Um, you know, using condoms and all that stuff. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not being funny, like, yeah. because sometimes we never have the conversations. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Do you, why, do you, why have you used condoms? You want me to lie to you or you want to be honest? I want you to be honest with me. I don't like the feeling. Yeah. Okay. But it depends on, I'm not going to say I don't use it all the time, I'm just saying, like, it depends on the partner. Like, I'm, when I first meet you, I'm not just going to be like, oh, we about to, we about to r me now. I do think you need some more education around that. And, yeah. And you know, like, that can teach you. And I'm not encouraging you as a 16 year old to have sex, but I want to know if you're going to be making choices that you could be making better choices. This is a very heartbreaking situation for me because I see you, first of all, Barbara, trying. And I also see a young woman who is very smart, who um, 
does want a better future for herself, but is hurting. Do you, are you, do you hurt a lot? Do you have a lot of pain? Mm. Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Do you get to ever talk about that with somebody? I don't like to vent to people. Why? I just feel like there's no reason. Because I'm going to tell you about my problems. Most of the time when I tell people about my problems, they laugh at my problems. People laugh and, at your problems? Yeah, and even when I try to talk to somebody that I trust about my problems, it's like, you don't understand. You don't know where I'm coming from. So it's like, why do I got to talk to you about it? Yeah. You don't understand what... Because you feel I like you're going to get judged. Yeah. I hear that constantly with you. You're like, when I talk to people, there's judgment, there's judgment, there's judgment. But I will tell you this, that sometimes adults make these choices and try to... We have our own lives and we get caught up and it's not right. But sometimes we forget that young people are just making decisions that they don't know how to make. And so we do a disservice to you by judging you and judging what you're going through. And I'm not talking about you, Ms. Popper, because I believe you're doing a great job. Thank but you. I want I to let you that. Yeah, I, I want you to know that I'm sorry for the adults that made you feel like you're judged. And I want you to know here you're not being judged. Here I actually believe that you can have a great future. I believe that you can get to a place to open up to people. Do you want to open up to people? If you had the right person, you opened up to me today. And you were just back there acting shy. You were just back there talking about no. <laughs> you just opened up to me. You just told me a lot of things. You was like, can I be real? And I was like, yeah, you were very open and vulnerable with me. What made me different? Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't know. It was just, it just felt great. I don't know. I wasn't going to lie. Like... Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I, there's other people like who have similar training that I have that can also be there to support you. Yeah? So if I was to say I could connect you with somebody who's similar to me, would you be willing to talk to them? Yeah, I would. I would. You would? I love that. I really do. I love that. Because I wanted to know, I contacted a program that provides parenting classes, it provides counseling sessions, and they actually will get you back in school and support you <laughs> to get your life back on track. I want to know to you, we've already filled out the paperwork. I've called the director personally, and the director is happy to have you come. Happy. I want to know, will you commit to going to this program to get your life back in order? Yeah, I will. You will? Yeah? Are you excited? This is like your thing. You ready? How does that make you feel, Barbara? I'm good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. It does? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes me feel good. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's a, like a, a, step a start for her. A start for her. Yeah. Yep. That's a start. Um, but Barbara, I got to tell you this as well. Is there anything that you want to say to your your niece on this? Anything at all? No, I'm just happy that she's actually making the right choices. And again, like I said, her, you know, being pregnant, having a baby, preparing to have a baby, had actually calmed her down a lot. Yeah. She's yeah. doing a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she I want to really make is. she's trying. I want to make sure for you that even when the baby comes, that you still feel like you can be in this calm state, that you still feel like I can make better choices. And you just got to get somebody that can talk to you, that can help you out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, because you're not a bad woman. You're not a bad young girl. You're not at all. You just have had a lot of rejection. You've had people made you feel like you weren't worth something. You've had made people made you feel like, well, maybe this is just all I get. But I want to be the first second actually, because I know Ms. Barbers did this for you, to tell you you are worth so much more. And you know that running away and things like that were hard. Anything you want to say to her? I apologize for putting you through everything, everything I put you through. And I appreciate you for keeping me and my sister and not giving us away. Absolutely, not a problem. We're going to We're going to fight this battle on our own, like we've been. It's not a problem. Don't make me cry, y'all. And we're on TV, too. Get it together. There yeah, all right. I know you're holding a lot in. It's just the pregnancy one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. We don't blame it on that. You're holding a lot in. Barbara, also, I know a lot of individuals like you who have stepped up and taken time to be there for people. I know this is not your biological child. I asked you what you like, and you said fishing, because I want to figure out a way. I told my producer already, I'm personally going to pay for you to take some time for yourself so you can be, yes. <laughs> Perfect. How does that make me cry? No, seriously. You, you, deserve, you deserve a moment for you to say thank you. Thank you. And I really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much. Because it's, it's, it's people like you that literally step up and make our world a better place. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Y'all gonna be all right. Just know that I love y'all, all right? Okay, all right? Give it up for them. Aww. Hold on. Where are you going? 
I'll tell you where you're going, right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.